Peace, aloha, namaste. Ready for the video? Yeah. Let's get it, man. Let's get it, man. Sweet. Present practice. What is vibing? This is Vish and? This is Brody. And today we'll be responding to Sadhguru's video on? Skip the resort, spend time in the forest. Do you ever find yourself stressed, anxious, or nervous? Well, that used to be me all the time. And then I found meditation. And now I've got hundreds of people on their meditation journeys. And I'll be soon coming out with a meditation product. So stay tuned for that. And today I'm here with Brody. Mm -hmm. Want to choose yourself? Yeah, my name is Brody G. Uh, and on the Instagram, I go by Mystic Bro, Mystic underscore Bro underscore. And uh, that is it. Want to tell us where you're from, maybe your background with this meditation or any of that good stuff? Yeah, yeah. So I'm born and raised here in Texas, Waco, Texas specifically. I've uh, been in the meditation the past few years. I uh, was introduced to meditation by Paramahansa Yogananda. And uh, that was that was the gateway that um, yeah, I walked through that really opened my eyes to meditation. I practice almost every day now. Very cool. And is there a specific form of meditation that you follow or you practice? Just simply paying attention to um, the insights that come through and uh, letting them flow. And just, yeah, and then so all kinds of breath work. So I got this old Chevy uh, Express van. Uh, it's all decked out. Um, you know, hardwood interiors uh, and shelving, four solar panels on top, wow. a nice little twin bed in there, and uh, refrigerator. And I mean, it's it's I live a pretty simple life, and so it serves all my this? needs. Yeah, and I travel. I travel with everything I need everywhere I go. There we go. And um, yeah, it's just it's so liberating, and I can go wherever however long I want to go and uh, wake up to some of the most beautiful views of nature in my backyard. I love to camp out like in nature environments, and urban environments sometimes, but particularly beautiful parks. Awesome. I think that's very fitting for this video on why he says you should spend time in the forest instead of the resort. So let's get into it. All right, let's do it. If you can find a place where there are no sounds of machines and your cell phone will not tink tink. Quietly, if you can listen to the sound of the trees, the breeze, the water, just the natural sounds, if you pay enough attention, tremendous things will happen to you. Many times I've been in the South Indian, you know, they're kind of uh, tropical rainforests. The longest I've been there through the jungle for about twenty-three days alone, no any kind of support, no cell phone for sure those days and not even a torchlight. And fourth day I ran out of the food that I was carrying, so I lived off the forest. By about eighth day, I, I lost my jacket and one half of my shirt because I was chased by some animals and by that whole thing. I had half a shirt and pants. And I walk through, I s this is elephant country, tiger country. I saw tigers, panthers, elephants, all kinds of the wild buffalo, various kinds of animals, very close quarters. But at the end of it, when you look back, what is the biggest impact on you? It's the insects, it's in the nights, the orchestra that goes on in the rainforest. Oh my God, it's unbelievable. And the timing, every day, night 2.15 means one group will stop and the other group will start. <laughs> really, their sense of time, every day, exactly by the second, one group will start, another group will start. You don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> they're definitely talking something that you don't know, for sure. They're not just making dumb noises. So if you just sit there and listen and listen and listen and listen, slowly you start noticing there is a pattern and an organization to this, which is far bigger than any human symphonies that you can achieve 
far more complex and far more intense. Uh, I think it's very important for every human being, particularly if you have children. Vacation need not be Disneyland, I'm not against it, but one trip is enough, all silly stuff which excites you. Vacation should be into nature. If you can take your children, walk in a jungle, not in a resort, just live on a mountain, expose them to nature, I will tell you, you will bring up your children not only physically healthy, mentally healthy, far more sensible and accepting and wonderful kind of human beings if they know how to… Because once you go into nature, whose son you are, whose daughter you are, what are you in the city doesn't matter, okay? It's very important that everybody experiences that, otherwise you start creating your own illusions as to who you are and you start believing it for sure. Only death and disease tells people who they are. Uh, it's very important, especially if you have children, it's extremely important that vacation does not mean movies, vacation does not mean some, I don't know, silly entertainment of doing this and that. It's important there is some connection with the roots of who we are and we listen to the right kind of things, what makes life buzz. So Brody, what did you think of that video? Mm, really resonated with what he had to share about the experience in nature. Awesome. Yeah, I feel you on that too because I, uh, at least going back in New York, I never really had much of uh, even a chance to explore nature. I was not living in the city, but I was living on Long Island. And Long Island doesn't really have too many trails or let's just say naturey types of things to explore that Texas has, at least what I've noticed in Austin. Uh, did you grow up with uh, with trails and hiking and nature? Want to talk oh, about yeah. that? Yeah, I'm very grateful for my childhood. There's plenty of time in my childhood spent in nature. You know, growing up, like our house, um, our ancestral homeland, uh, my, our house goes like, over here on this hilltop and there's just beautiful like fields and forests all around. And then across the street, there's our family's ranch where we'd all come together almost every Sunday as a family and share a meal together. And, mm -hmm. After that, in good family time, just spent wandering like the hundreds of acres of forest uh, on our ranch and just let my imagination run wild. Wow. Any cool experiences you've had there in that, in that kind of environment? Oh, uh, just uh, um, what, <laughs> what I would used to do so often is I'd pick up all these cool little rocks mm -hmm. and I'd pretend they were spaceships. Okay. And I'd just like, they'd fly all around the cosmos of my imagination and all throughout wow. the forest. And camping in the forest several times and inviting friends out and having just great little powwows. It's awesome. Super cool. So it seems like you being connected to nature really helped with your uh, imagination and exploration within yourself. Yeah. Sweet. And uh, yeah, I definitely very much connect as well with that. I mean, recently I uh, have started going more hiking and trails in Austin. Went to a Big Bend with the family. Oh, it's beautiful. Have you been there? Yes. Uh, did you explore like all of it or what did you say exactly? Do you remember? Um, just like I uh, explored like a waterfall and like the trail systems and caves. Yeah. I uh, went for like a senior trip. Okay. Uh, just a few of us went out and just explored it a little bit. It's been like a little just a day trip. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it was Sweet. great. Yeah, Big Ben was, was beautiful as he mentioned. Yeah. I went with the family and it's really just uh, so cool to see how, how beautiful Mother Nature is. Mm. And uh, without even making this, you know, religious or whatever you consider as, as a God, but I mean, even just logically looking at it, essentially most of what we see now, especially the buildings and all these other things that we live in, are all of man's creation. But it's recommended, and as I've learned from this journey, to spend time with God's creation, mm. or let's just say, nature's creation, whatever term you want to associate with that. Uh, and that's nature, that's the forest, that's these beautiful things that we see around us. And you will naturally just, you know, being present with that, become present. Mm -hmm. And uh, I've definitely experienced that. Have you experienced that as well? Being oh present? yeah. Oh yeah. It's like a, almost like a meditative experience itself. Indeed. And your attention is here in this moment, in this now moment. Yes. And not off in some fairy tale like, a problem or distraction in your life yes. like here in the forest it's just 
a lot of peace to be found. Exactly. You're just here in the now. Yeah. And uh, it's as simple as that. I mean, I would highly encourage you all to, you know, take a hike. Literally. Take a hike. Yeah. Go take a hike. <laughs> and uh, true. Exactly. And uh, especially with those of y'all with younger ones. And uh, I mean, I have a sister and I've seen a lot of family, friends and neighbors who are young and they, they for sure are on these, you know, smartphone gadget type of things, which is okay. But if that's the only thing they're on, I think it can, you know, lead to a lot of problems as we're as we're seeing in today's day and age and i think it's very important to allow for them to you know be with nature do these exercises and just it'll open up a tremendous amount of possibilities what do you think about that indeed indeed like i spent a lot of time like i didn't growing up as a child i didn't really have a phone mm -hmm. uh as whenever like phones mm -hmm. weren't as like plenty in the mm -hmm. market as they were now and you know anyway um, yeah, I spent a lot of time just in silence and just playing in nature and listening to the orchestra of the, the birds and the frogs and the insects and um, anyway that's allowed my imagination to mature yes. and for me to play with it and for me to grow and deepen my uh, in, in my spirituality and my connection with God yes as connection with nature yes and yeah absolutely and uh, thank you so much for sharing that experience that you've had and i want to thank you as well for watching this and uh, taking the time and uh, don't forget to check out brody who will be in the description down below yeah, mystic bro there we go and uh, with that make a great day take it joyfully and stay conscious, conscious. awesome job brody you're great all right